Hi, good afternoon. Uh, talking about water security is a very good topic during a drought. Uh, the City of Woodland has uh, a lot of interesting programs going on right now. Um, the City of Woodland has had some concerns recently with water quality, or I guess long term with water quality, and also water sustainability using the existing groundwater aquifer and relying solely on groundwater for our water so supply. So the City of Woodland, together with the City of Davis and also UC Davis, formed the Woodland Davis Clean Water Agency for the purpose of construction of a new water supply in the Sacramento River. So this is a brief overview of the, of the project. Uh, up in the top right hand of the screen, there's the intake pumping station. That is the new joint intake facility with uh, its partnership with RD 2035. Uh, that is replacing an existing unscreened diversion in the Sacramento River with a state-of-the-art fish screen to help protect the fish in the river. Uh, you can see it driving on I-5 towards Sacramento. It's the two big red cranes right as you go over the bridge. The surface water treatment plant is being constructed in one lead. It's just east of Costco. Uh, right now, it looks like a series of concrete structures and two big concrete domes and, and a series of construction trailers. And there's also about 25 miles of pipeline that tie everything together. So the surface water project as a whole takes care of our water quality issues. It takes care of most of our water supply issues. But it does also present us another problem in that the Sacramento River in most years has more water in winter than it does in summer, so there's much more supply in winter. The city's water demand is much higher in summer than it is in winter by about twice as much. So we're looking for a way to balance winter supply and summer demand and, and not be reliant on our existing groundwater wells uh, as much as we can. So to illustrate the problem with storage, to try to store enough water, uh, this is a 3 million gallon tank that the city was constructing about a year ago. Uh, I like this picture because it really shows the scale of water storage. Uh, you can see there's a crane in the middle of the tank and there's a couple of construction workers up on top working on scaffolding for the roof. So this is a 3 million... Sorry about that, I didn't quite know what to do. Um, so this 3 million, gallon 3 million gallon tank, one full, is enough to supply the city with water for about four hours in summer or about eight hours in winter. Uh, if we were to try to use storage tank to store winter water to use in summer, we would need a few hundred of these. And in addition to being very unsightly and using a lot of land, it's very, very expensive. So we needed a different solution. So the solution that we came up with, working with West Yosin Associates, was a concept called aquifer storage and recovery. And what that concept is, is basically taking treated drinking water and injecting that into the groundwater aquifer to store that over long periods of time to bring back up and use later. Uh, at buildup, we plan to have between five and seven ASR wells. There's a few more shown on this map, and that's mainly for permitting purposes, and so no one knows where the wells really actually are. <laughs> our, our goal really is to store between one and a half and two billion, with B, gallons every winter, to use some of that water in summer, but our, our main goal is to build a very large reservoir of water to use in the next drought. We can't do anything about the current drought, but we want to be prepared for the next one. Uh, how do we know it works? The City of Woodland partnered with uh, Lawrence Livermore Labs about a year ago to do full-scale injection testing. We used xenon gas as a tracer so we knew which water was ours. And uh, we injected into our existing well at Well 28, which is the purple one on that map. And ultimately, the test was very successful. We were able to recover about 98% of the water that we, we put into the ground. Um, and extrapolating that to a full city citywide scale, we feel very confident that we will be able to re recover about 90% of the water that we put in. And ASR programs are considered successful if you are between 70 and 90%. So we're definitely in the higher end of that. H how it works, I'll give you a quick geology lesson. On, uh, it's actually pretty simple. On the left side of the graph, it's, the color's a little bit hard to tell, but the lighter ones, which are really yellow, show clay, which is generally imperme impermeable. There's no water in those zones. And the blue and the greens are gravel and sand uh, where there is water. So our plan really is to inject into the ground at the bottom, the bottom blue layer, which is about 480 feet down. We will put all of our water into that zone. And then the testing that we did shows that it does not go vertically, it only goes horizontally. So we can, we can store as much water in there really as we can. It's almost an unlimited reservoir. And then use some of the water in summer as we need it. Uh, another part of the city's plan is recycled water. Uh, we are planning a recycled water project to take basically our treated wastewater effluent and use that to uh, supply parks with irrigation and also industrial cooling processes. Uh, what that really does is that it matches water quality to the appropriate use of that water. It's kind of the, the, the term the state uses for that. Um, but basically, there's no need for these, for these uses to be on high quality treating drinking water when we can use recycled water. And that, um, that's basically a quick summary of the city's water system. <laughs> 